Hello and welcome to more awesome toy collection ah, from the 1960s. More Matt Mason, Mattel's man in space. Ah, this is Major Matt Mason's buddy, space buddy, Doug Davis. Ah, he has a slightly different card ah, than the others. The first figure was Matt Mason and Sergeant Storm. And then the other two astronauts are Doug Davis and Jeff Long. I'll do Jeff Long in another video some other time. Uh, let's take a look at him here. He's still sealed. Well, let's take a look at the bottom. Then we'll take a closer look at all of it. Uh, there it is. Dated 1968. Mattel Inc. Toys. Uh, what does it say? It gives you a little bit about him. He's a space scientist. His specialist is radiology. Rides his lunar track. Researches area of cosmic ray penetration. Uh, you see this one's in fairly good shape, especially considering its age. Uh, this is 2021, so this is uh, 53 years old now. Orthon, California, U.S. patent. And look at it, it's made in different places. Hong Kong, Japan, Taiwan, or U.S. Uh, there was some other sticker, maybe a price sticker originally on there. Take a look at the side. Nice, uh, they call it a lunar track, but it was also called a cat track, and that's what I refer to it and remember it as. Nice helmet. See how nice and bright his deep yellow outfit is? Still sealed all there, and they made him pose where he was waving, and his hands either bent like that or sometimes closer to where the handle and you can see in the background the space station. Uh, very nice. This one's a little crunched the way they put it in there, but they normally had the, the tag for the, the matching figure at the bottom like this. Uh, very nice collectible. I have lots of loose ones. I showed on another... Uh, video, and then I have a big, bigger display that I haven't gotten to yet. I'll do that in the future, and lots of other, other boxed and carded Matt Mason uh, from the 1960s, and then this is Mattel brand, and then you can also get the Color Forms Outer Spacemen, which I've done a couple videos for them, and I haven't done a zeroid robot yet by ideal but they kind of all went together came out in the same time in the late 1960s space toys and they were sort of in the same scale he's a six inch bendable figure action figures we call them today and uh, most of the time you'll get a figure where at least one of the joints the kid bent it too much and it's busted but sometimes you can get one where it's completely uh Posable, because if it's bent, the, the arm will just kind of stick out depending where it is. There's the joint in the shoulder and the elbow, and then you can see a joint there at the what would be the waist or the upper thigh, and then the knee joint. And this toy worked by imagination, because you see it's just a solid piece of plastic, but always look neat because it's a treaded vehicle, so it's sort of like a little tank he's riding on, but no gun. All right, and you can see this one has a little bit of wear. Something got onto the plastic, but you don't see that too much when you're looking straight on at it. All right, until next time, more awesome toys, collection, classic toys from the 60s and 70s. Thanks for liking and subscribing.